everybody, Happy New Year. Hope you've all had a brilliant time over the last few weeks and that you're all safe and well. Uh, it's, yes, the beginning of the year, uh, a time where lots of people might be thinking about resolutions or what have you, uh, perhaps practicing musical instruments might be one of them, a common one. I thought we could have a quick look at um, a little idea of metronome practice. Uh, so th the skill of rhythm is one that you can work on and develop and it's like a muscle. So if you work on having accurate timekeeping, the harder you work, the more you'll get back and the the groovier and more accurate will, uh, your playing will be. So in those times ahead, when hopefully we'll be able to to meet in person, you can have been practicing for a long time and you can be ace with your, your rhythm. So let's get into this. Um, the way that I thought about metronomes for a long time was just to set the speed of what you're doing and do it. So if we look at um, 80 beats per minute as an example here, I'm going to play a samba pattern on the pandero and samba is in two. It's going to be like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... So that's what you'd probably think of as normal, or I used to, um, until one of my musical heroes, uh, so I, I started getting really serious about music on the, the bass guitar and a chap called Victor Wooten, uh, who's a virtuosic player, he showed this idea that you should use different relationship of the metronome to the beat in that, uh, let's slow this down, uh, so this would be the a possible first step that you could do. You know, to slow the metronome down by half, down to 40. And we're going to play the, the rhythm at the same speed that we did before. So we're going to get half as many metronome beats to it, the relationship with the rhythm. So you can perhaps see there that I was getting, whereas before, every dak a chicka dak a chicka dak, you were getting a, a reassuring metronome pulse uh, to keep you on track. When you divide the, the metronome speed in half and keep your, your rhythm the same, I was only getting the reassuring metronome every other downbeat. There. There. Oh, sorry. So it's much more challenging to do that, and that's really going to uh, exercise that that muscle of timekeeping that I was talking about. And then you would naturally take it further. This little metronome thingy we jig here doesn't go slower than forty, uh, but if you've got um, sort of a computer metronome, maybe that'll go slower. Or you can actually set a backing track, say in like a garage band or something similar to that. You can set it up to play um, either super, super slow, like 20 beats per minute, and then you're playing four um, downbeats and then you're getting that reassurance on one, or you can set a backing track to, to sort of drop out for a few bars and come back in and set that on a loop. But the idea is, is to make it a challenge, make it a fun challenge, uh, and develop and progress that sort of sense of timekeeping, really. Um, so yeah, I hope that's fun, or, fun and or interesting. And uh, we'll see you next week. Take care.